motion to go into executive session to discuss personnel matters. So moved. Is there a second? Uh, okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, so um, what do we got? I don't know if you can. Public comments for agendas. I'm not on the agenda. No, you're none. Um, additions or changes to the agenda. All righty. So um, we're a little, actually now we're a little ahead of schedule. So why don't we take, if there's no objection, um, do Alfred first and then we can, because Cliff was going to zoom in to talk about the informational meeting, just quick debrief. So since you're here, Alfred. Um, first off, thanks for coming. And have you had any more interest in the position? Positions? No, I've not heard anything. Um, okay, you might have to move a little closer so when she's doing the notes, she can hear what you're saying. I haven't heard from anybody who was called and leaves nothing. I uh, was going to ask if we are still advertising. Um, we have advertised in our garden, the whole front porch forum network. Um, can't remember now if we did. We might have done seven days. Do you I know we did, and we did it on the VLCT's website thing where they have that job openings. Okay. I see it on the front porch forum early on, but I haven't seen it there lately. Yeah, it sort of makes the, the rounds because it does it like in every town in, okay. in Vermont. It's no harm though to do it again. Right? No, 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 it just costs money. It costs money. From which form it is. Yeah, if you um, do a big ad like that, it does cost money, but we can certainly do it again. Yeah, I just, I just haven't noticed it in the last week or so, a couple weeks. Okay. So we should probably up that a little bit. Okay. Fellow that was showing interest uh, with his restrictions, it's, it's just not not gonna work. Yeah, no. This um, was the guy who didn't have a CDL. Well, he had a CDL, but he had a restriction on it because he can only drive automatics. Right. Right. He can only drive yeah. automatics. What was it called? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> nothing. I just haven't heard nothing from him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you he follow just, back up? He with just him? has no, had no showed no interest in. But you followed back up with him. After we yeah. met. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't reply. No. I think he's just, I mean, when I, when I interviewed him, he seemed a little bit on the fence whether he wanted to change uh -huh. anyways. Uh -huh. But this is his hometown, so I think that's what sort of was pulling him. But with the restriction and the extra work he's going to have to do to, yeah. to get on board with us, is, is uh -huh. I think, more than he wanted to do. Yeah. And also, I also advertised. The visit this the road crew position and the treasurer position. There's like there's Plainfield people. There's Chamber of Commerce. Um, there's a site called Vermont Roads. I blasted it out to every mm -hmm. Facebook page I could think of. Yeah. So I'll do that again too. Yeah, and I've been sort of when I run into somebody that I think might be an option, I throw it out there to them. Mm -hmm. I talked to a gal today that was actually interested, but she has to work where she is until June. But even if she was worked there until June, right. really that's not that far away. No, I know. And that's why I told her, well, just, you know, keep in touch. Let me know. Yep. She's, got a, she's got a class C license, which What's would have to be... Can you explain, to, please? Yeah. <laughs> 40,000 pounds. That's 40,000 Well, C, no, C is uh, for like a school bus. <laughs> like a mini school bus. Yeah, okay. So she would have to upgrade to a B. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, do you think is that is hard to do? <clears throat> no, it's just she has to take a written test, skills test, and driving test. Mm -hmm. Alfie, do you think, do you particularly like her? Do you think she'd be good? I don't know a lot about her, so I can't really form an accurate opinion that way. I mean, mm -hmm. I think. 
think she works in, a, in an automotive environment, so she deals with trucks and cars and stuff, so I, you know, I think she, she would have that asset for us. Do you think it's worth, <clears throat> I'm just throwing this out, okay guys, do you think it's worth saying to her, look, we don't consider the fact that you couldn't come until June to be a reason not to interview you. Right. So would you please apply and would you please apply and let us interview you or something like that? Or let right. me formally interview you. Right. Well I, I did that. I mean yeah. I told her that, you know, come talk to me. Let's let's uh -huh. okay. you know, pursue this and so I gave her my phone numbers, and that's, okay. that's all I can do at this point. If no, she, no, okay. If she I, wants I just, to take the next step. Yeah, um, okay. It's in her court. Yeah. I just want to say, I don't consider, personally, I don't consider June a problem, given the, where we are. Right, right. it's if, already March. Because by the time we, she, she applies, you interview her, sure. then you tell her you got to go do all this stuff by the time... Shit. I mean, it'd right. be April anywhere, May anyway, of right. course. So we need a month of delay. Right. Yeah. So no, I, I, that, the June thing didn't affect me in a bit. I mean, I, because we have two positions to fill. And right. Certainly by June we could, you know, we could, if, if she pursues it and wants to, you know, pursue upgrading her license, I would even help her do that. She right. Has, she has right. time then too. That's she has time right. to do that, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, then I would suggest that you call her and yeah. set up an interview. Yeah. So no, I think I, you know, I'll let a little bit of time go and then I'll call her and just open yeah, that conversation. Yeah. Alfred, when people are expressing interest, what does that look like? Do you get an email? Do you get a phone call? Uh, it's different every time. Um, the the person from the state was a phone call, and then it turned into emails. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one was just, I bumped into her, and, and just in a conversation, I said, oh, hey, um, i got two positions open, would you be interested? So it's different for every every. Yeah, situation. so you were just like, buy a parts or something, fill a gas tank? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, He's actually asking you whether I want to So, <laughs> another does. thing on that, on that is, we still don't have an actual application to give to people. Okay. You know, I knew we had one years ago, I but thought not, yeah. Sandra thought that it needed to be updated and changed, and that's where it stopped. I haven't, we haven't crossed that bridge yet. Well, you know, I can um, check with like um, East Montpelier. I mean, most people like do a resume. No, um, right, right. But, Nowadays, people are asking for an application. For, an application. Let me see for what information, what we're going to ask from them. Mm -hmm. So, we should have something to give them. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to reinvent the wheel. Let me see what I can find. Yeah, there's got to be one that's, yeah. that's suitable. And maybe ours is fine, it just needs a, a little yeah. bit of tweaking. Or I'll have to ask Santa for it. You can ask Jim that too. I mean, that, just to see if there's anything. Well, we don't have one already. I don't think we need Jim. No, I don't think we need Jim. I trust Denise's research, too. Um, okay. Well, that's good. I mean, if, if she's interested, that'd be great. Yeah. Is it she local? Well, at this, lives in Woodbury. Oh, okay. At this point, I mean, I'm, I'm, if it's a, if it's a warm body, I'm going to, I'm going to pursue it. Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, truck inspections. Yep, uh, so one of the trucks is inspected, the one that, um, the newest one. Not the spare. What's that? There was a, one, a truck and then there was the there spare. Was, there was two trucks that was out of inspection. Right. One of them, I just didn't get time to get it in. Yeah. And the reason for that, I don't know how much time you want to spend on this, but I've had a lot of breakdowns this winter. So one truck was down, now I don't have a spare. It requires four trucks. So if one truck's been broke down, I can't take another truck out for a week or so to go get it inspected. So it just sort of got away. That's the newest truck. I knew I know it's safe. I mean I know it's it's it wasn't a problem. So I kind of just didn't make the time to get that done. The other truck is the spare truck that we are selling 
any day now. Yeah. yeah. And that's the one that we, we were told last year when we got inspected that it was going to take a lot of money to get a sticker on it again. Uh. So, me thinking that it was going to be sold in November, right. I didn't want to put money into it to put a fresh sticker on and just then sell it. So now can we just run the trucks that have inspection stickers? Well, uh, I'm hoping to get the CV International back tomorrow. Oh, okay. And then, yes, that truck that doesn't have a sticker will sit in the garage. Yeah, okay. Um, but it's just, like I said, when when trucks are broke down, I have to, I still yeah. have to use what I have. Yeah, in, okay. In the fleet. So, uh, we just, we're, obviously, we just want to avoid that. That's got, that puts driver's licenses. I mean, drivers get dinged if they, you know, if they're driving a truck that's out of inspection and they get right. tagged, so. Yeah, they're CDL. Yeah. Well, yeah. and no, not to mention. Well, it's, it's not it's, a, yeah. It's, it's and not then, a good thing, but it's, it's not a moving violation. All right, but it's still. So we would get fined, yes. Yeah. But if yeah. something were to happen. My, well, that was my concern was the insurance. The insurance and the and the the public appearance. Something happens on our watch right. to a, a truck that we knew wasn't inspected. When the yeah. whole point of the inspection is safety. Yeah. Right. That's bad lineup of facts. So it sounds like we're we're going <coughs> that truck in tomorrow. We're okay. right after. Okay. Hopefully after tomorrow, I'll have the CD back. And this truck that doesn't have a sticker can go back in the shed and sit there until we sell it. Until it's sold. And that's been my plan the whole time. But that's like I said, when when one truck goes down, right, so you're and you still got four routes to fill. So uh, I, I kept it in, in action. I don't think that can be our plan, frankly. I, I it's mean, not a plan. It's just something that just. If it's the backup and a truck goes down and you say, oh, well, we've got the uninspected one, let's do it. He's talking about the one that's, he's not, he's not talking about the spare, he's talking about the newer one. Yeah, if we have to put a huge amount of money into that, then we're just getting rid of well, it. Just, we're waiting for it to live. I think we're, what we're saying is we just need to do a better job of, maybe we have to get it inspected in October instead of waiting for December so that we're not into this mess. Well, I think what he's saying on this one was we were planning to get rid of this right. truck. This truck, right. This no, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about the yeah. newer one, not the Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. got yeah. the newer one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the newer one was December. It was new in December. Right. And yes, I will take that on the nose. I, I kind of sort of didn't make the time to get it in. Now, these, these trucks have to go to Burlington mm -hmm. to get inspected. If there's right. anything wrong with them, they get cert. It's it's warranty work. That's why it has to go to Burlington. But so this, let me just be really clear: the spare that we're going to sell any minute, we haven't been using. We've been using it, yes, because of the because of the CV being out of out of commission. Okay, so so I'm going to go back on just you know it's really what Denise just said, but but. Even though we were planning to sell it, and even though we didn't put any money into it because we we're going to sell it, and we didn't even want to inspect it because we we're going to sell it, the fact is, when we needed it, we pulled it out and used it. All of which is, if we're going to pull it out and use it, then we should be inspecting it. That's my point. Okay. okay. Well, I, the only reason I did that was to save the town money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's like and, and and like I said. Twice now, the truck was supposed to be sold in November. Right, right. But it's because it's of because of other supply chain supply issues. chain issues going on, we in didn't the world, get the truck. We still don't have the truck that was going to replace it. When? What's that? When? When do you think? I'm here any day. Last uh, week ago, <coughs> I talked to the to the foreman where I'm buying the truck from, and he said it would be end of next week or first of this week. Talked to him today, and he said the company is not returning his call. So the truck has got to be his new truck has got to be all but ready. It's just a matter of <coughs> getting getting here. Um, so I expect that transaction to happen any time, any, any day now. Okay. By the way, how long if, if we wanted to be <coughs> financially unwise and pour money down a rabbit hole? 
How long would that take, do you think? To get that truck ready for inspection? Yeah, yeah. it would be taken out of action for I bet three it's, weeks. I bet it's three weeks. Okay. I mean, so it's hard we to really want to do, we it's really want to get a truck in the shop now. Yeah. Let alone well, get part, I mean, that CB International has been three weeks and now I'm waiting for a brake caliper. You know, and that's that's one. It's just that's a simple thing. It's a very common thing. A brake caliper, sure. and, and yeah, you can't get it. We've waited a week right. and a half for it. Okay, I think I think Alfred heard us. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, so moving on, I just put this on. This is the municipal roads general permit report that we do every year, and it just needs to be signed. It's in the. Um, oh. There was a bunch of those kinds of things in this folder. Um, mm -hmm. right, how do I make this record? Cliff, how do I make this record? Let me go ahead and start it for you. Okay, where I, I don't even see the button where you can do that. You just have to pull to the upper right hand corner and take care of it. Recording in progress. Okay, thank you. Um, so I would ask that somebody approve the Municipal Roads General Permit Report that Toby sent us. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? This is just it's the normal a, course of every, every year. year. Right, it's a protocol. Yeah, yeah. So we just have to that. file it with the state. Right, okay. there's a fee too that comes with mm -hmm. it, but that's not due until... Right, that's not part of this, because sure. I read it. Right. Yeah. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, Albert, do you have anything else for us? If not, we're going to move on. Uh, no, I think we're okay. I talked with Sandra some about the... Uh, check that I'll need for that new truck when it comes. So she's prepared for that. Okay. Um, I've got a guy that's, we've, we've already taken a deposit for the old truck. We've got a contract together. He was there today with the remainder of the, what he owes us, but I told him I couldn't let it go yet. Now, is this a private individual doing this? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so once that once our new spare truck comes, it'll be it'll it should be seamless, and we'll just put it right to work. And one okay. thing I don't know is if if Charlie Boys is going to want to take it to their shop to look it over in between <coughs> the spare, the spare, the one that we're buying between you know the now owner and us. Okay. Because we put in the contract that it would have a fresh inspection sticker on it when we bought it. And you probably want them to undercoat it or, or else you're going to? Well, it's, that will have to be in the spring because yeah. it's just too cold and we're going to be, mm -hmm. we're going to need to use it, so. Okay, so, but the, the spare truck that we have now, that's being sold to somebody? Yeah, that's right, he's the private Okay. He's a private contractor that's fine. Okay. Um, Anybody we know? Uh, he lives in Woodbury, uh, mm. Doug, no, it's not that, it's Larry, I've got it written down, here. Okay. You know, all that, but he's, uh, he's a logger, and that's, that's, he's just going to use it on his own property. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, Is that it? I think so. I had a visitor today. A visitor? A skunk? <laughs> sort of, but no. Uh, no, Mr. Lilly came and visited for a while. Oh, oh Doug Lilly. Okay. I thought you were leading up to tell us a little story. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure what his issue is, but um, I didn't what? like his visit today. You mean he came to the garage? Yes. He had, well, he came here when, a month ago? Um, about and the stones. And about the stones, and I right. and I believe I right. believe he continues to feel that we have changed something, and that the stones are, you know, too sharp, puncturing tires, 
Yeah, I think we mentioned it to Alfred, didn't we? Yeah, we had a yeah, I think Alfred was here. Yeah. I was here. Yeah. yeah. We had a whole conversation about it. Yeah. yeah. But now he's now he's saying bicycles. A lot of bicycles on that road. And Yeah, because he just bought some kind of motorized bike. Yeah. That he's okay. worried about the tires getting punctured from the the stuff we put on the road. Yeah. Did he mention anything about the bollards? Sure, the, the wooden the post things being no, he didn't mention that. Oh, uh, those were knocked down. I didn't hear him mention yeah, that. Yeah, he didn't well, mention kind of that. Well, I've got to push back, but that's almost inevitable. It's but, uh, right. right. And if you look at those posts, yeah. if you look at them, if the town truck hit them, they would have been pushed forward. Most of them are not. They're pushed Sorry. the opposite way of the traveling roadway. You mean the opposite way that you plow? Right. Mm -hmm. so, An hour. I looked at them even this morning. I saw, and they're, it just looks like it's throw, snow throw, you know. From, yeah. Or, yeah. You're right, so, I didn't see him. So, I mean, I'm not saying okay. that a plow truck didn't hit it. It may have. I mean, I can't get anybody to, to maybe I did. I plow that road too sometimes. Maybe I did. But, mm -hmm. but if you look at them, they're aimed the wrong way. They're, they're kind of flown the wrong way if it was one of our trucks. Because we plow only one way. And if we if we'd have hit it, it would have gone forward of the of the, of the plow of the plow. But they're not. They're 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 the opposite way. So if it was another plow truck, that you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to make any accusations, but they shouldn't be there. The bottom line is they should not be there to begin with. It's our right of way. We have a right to move snow when we when we need to move snow. And that's the only reason he's putting them there is to be a hassle for us. So uh, he didn't say anything about that, and I'm glad he didn't because that would have escalated things probably. But how did, well, how did it go? How long was he there? Uh, I had I he was there when I came back. I had to come to the town office to drop some paper off, and he was there when I got back. So I guess he was talking to the other guys for a while. And then when I got there, it wasn't long after that. So I'm just, I don't exactly know what his problem is, but I, I had a very uncomfortable feeling with him there. And he just, he, I don't know what his goal is here, but. Well, okay. he, he's just a heads so, up. That's all. It, all right. That's all. That's all it is. Right. That's that's what it is. It's 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 information, um, and that's really that's all you're doing is making us aware that Doug came and had a conversation. Had a conversation. Correct. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Noted. Yeah. And you're not asking us to do anything about it. No, but I appreciate you letting us no, know that it yeah. No, I mean, if it, it's fine. I mean, I, yeah, know, he's it's allowed fine to do at this point, but I just, I, yeah. I feel like he's got a thorn in his side yeah. somewhere, and it's, yeah. it's going to appear, and you guys need to know about it. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm glad you told us. Thank you, so we're not surprised. That's helpful. Yeah. yeah. As close as those things are into the road, too, it's inevitable when you pull go through a plow frame, something's, even just the sure. road seems to thrown snow. It's right. Like, well, you can see that the road is narrowed up. It's so, it's so narrow through there. Mm -hmm. I mean, two cars would have a hard time meeting there. Well, and, and, and that, two trucks. And that that is that is the tension is that you know, I didn't, I haven't lived in I haven't lived in Cal's, you know, as long as Doug has, as long as you have. Uh, but that that is exactly the 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 issue is, you know. Doug lives on a very busy road, and the speed of traffic is frustrating. And yeah, and he brings that up quite often. And I can I can totally appreciate that. And as we we don't have time to get into it tonight, it's not the agenda. But I, I do think that we should we should be thoughtful about how do we calm traffic in those kinds of places. We've talked about different things before, and we haven't. We yeah. haven't really, we haven't really made any steps forward on it. So if we don't like Doug's solutions, then what, the what solution? then what, what can we do? Yeah, this, this the problem is, is that the road is so straight. Right. And I don't know how you calm traffic other than to 
right. make the road curve. That generally. Well, we put signs up. We put tra tractor ahead signs up. So, you know, on his request. Right. We have set the speed cart there. Yep. During the summer months. And it's not there now. It's it's not. Which reminds me, um, I did get a request for that to be set out. Request for what? Speed cart for the speed, set the speed cart. But we have a flashing light there by the school. Right. We have one of those flashing. No, not that really doesn't really good up by Lily's. No, I mean, I, I, this is the mobile one. This right. is the one that's on the trailer and you set it up. Mm -hmm. So can we? So we? So this is a whole other topic for another time. Right. right. It's not on the agenda. So if, right. I know if you want to talk about stuff, I can put it on the agenda. Yeah, I think we right. should. Right. But does it? So does no. it need to be on the? I mean, I'm. A, a resident asked me to put a speed sign out. Do I, do I have the authority to just put it out where I the think speed it is? Yeah. Okay. Speed cart, yeah. Okay, that's the only, that's the question I have. Well, sure. but, hang on though, hang on. I agree, of course you do. However, I don't want to hear in six weeks or, you know, six months, well, I, I moved the speed cart from Lightning Ridge because the resident asked for it over here, and you guys told me go ahead and do that. I feel like I don't have the whole picture. So well, it's not on Lightning Ridge now. Okay, but is it the one that would go back up on Lightning Ridge on you know March fifteenth? It can 15? go anywhere. Well, now. speed carts move anyway. They're, they're made understand. to be portable for a reason. That means to, you don't keep them. As I don't understand what now. you're asking, Sharon. My point is going back to traffic calming on Lightning Ridge. We have a citizen who lives at a straight place, and if <laughs> one of our solutions is a speed cart that we generally keep right around where you know Tucker Road comes into Lightning Ridge, right? If well, it's, it can go anywhere. I you understand know, that, Alfred. My point is, when it's not there, it isn't doing its job of calming traffic on Lightning Ridge. Yeah, but it's calming it there. So, it's just so you're saying it's calming it on another town, on another road. I, I, I guess I'm not clear. If it's, if it's not on Lightning Ridge, then it's someplace else. Are you wanting to be notified where the speed car is being put? No, I don't care. I, I don't care where it is, but if, if it isn't on Lightning Ridge, it isn't doing a Lightning Ridge job. So I feel like we need, we, we because, because, of a, because of any number of factors, Lightning Ridge, can, light, factors, Lightning Ridge is straight. It may be a little wider, depending on your point of view. It's right, it's a straight shot down to Route 14. All these things line up for it to be a place where there's a lot of traffic that goes fast. So what is, if we don't have a permanent speed sign there, then maybe we should. That's really all I'm saying. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. So, look at a so, 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 so your point is to put up one of those flashing speed limit signs like we have in East Cal's and make a corner? And just leave it there all the right. time. Well, that's a permanent one. Yes. Yeah. I thought we had one there. Well, that's exactly, I thought we did too, and then I was said, no, we don't. We, we, we put in posts. We put in the anchor for one, like the one that's in Maple Corners. Yeah. That we can pick up out of the ground and bring it to Lightning Ridge Road. So then why don't we do that for a while? That would actually we can. We can. I mean, it's, it's just. Those usually cost, what do they cost? About 1800 bucks, 15 They're like 2000 bucks. Yeah, you know, well, if we're going to have this discussion, I really want to put this on the agenda. It needs to be on the agenda so we can decide. Do we want to buy another yeah. flashing no. I was just asking if I have the authority it? to move our mobile trailer right. pull behind the truck. And that's a whole different discussion right. than what this has been getting <laughs> into. So yes, you have Do authority yeah. to right. move the mobile cart, put it by Doug's house so he can see what people are going. Well, yeah, I mean, I he hasn't asked for that, so I can put it there after the person that's asked for it. Somebody's okay. asked for it on Collar Hill. So Collar Hill, I would put it there first. Okay. Then leave it there for a couple of weeks and bring it to, to, to yeah. Doug Lilly's or to yeah. whomever else might want it in front of their house. I right. think I think Lightning Ridge traffic calming should be a topic on the agenda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, thank you. All right. Yeah, when we're going to have these kind of more in-depth conversations, it really needs to get notice because Mr. Lilling would probably like to attend. Sure, absolutely. But I mean we weren't Yeah. I'm not talking about Yeah, got it. That. Anything else offer because we need to move on. No, I guess I'm good. Okay. Great. <laughs>
You said that before you opened up this big can of worms. Well, yeah, it's just I want to make sure that I have the authority to move that card around. Yeah. Yeah, this. Yeah. That was my Go for it. Okay. Really. All right. We kind of skipped around on the agenda. Um, Cliff? We, we held off on the talking about the public informational meeting. Are you there, Cliff? Here, I'm here. Oh, there you are. So I um, just wanted to have, a, if, if, if it's possible, to have a quick conversation about the informational meeting and to thank you so very much for pulling it all together and having it go off so smoothly. Very much appreciated. Thanks also to uh, Jamie and uh, John. They did a great job handling things at the, the town hall. And uh, I think and uh, John's efforts really improved the sound quality for people. And the, yeah, we've fabric, got lovely the fabric is fabric. lovely. <laughs> yep, lovely fabric backgrounds to boot. So it's a win win. Yep. Um, for me, from your perspective, I mean, I was on Zoom and I thought it went well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could hear when people, well, there wasn't very many people from the public, but I'm glad we did it hybrid to make sure we had that opportunity available. Um, any observations or thoughts from your perspective? Um, it, it, there were times where it was a little um, hairy trying to do air traffic control um, and keep up with you know, what was going on, making sure yeah. I was putting the proper slides on the meeting while I was, um, you know, trying to uh, coordinate people coming in on and answer questions or things like that. Um, but overall, I thought it went pretty smoothly. That would be my recommendation uh, in the future. If we're doing this again, you definitely want to have a, a secondary person on the ground at wherever, be it the town hall or the school or wherever, uh, crowds are gathering. And then someone else who's available um, outside of that venue on Zoom to kind of help coordinate other activities going on. And perhaps one other person who could be available to uh, main, mainly just has the responsibility for putting the proper slides on the screen at the time that they're needed. All good observations. Hopefully next year we can meet in person. Exactly. We won't, we won't have to do this again, but we thought that last year. So. Yep. All right, all good points. And um, uh, another thing to keep in mind, um, not necessarily just as for in, with regards to a town meeting, but if going forward, the um, hybrid meetings will continue to be a reality. Uh, at some point, looking at the layout there in the uh, town hall um, where people sit and views of the overhead screens, you could conceivably add a second monitor so that there's monitors basically facing each other that people could be facing either direction in the building and be able to see the monitors. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to keep in mind. Uh, anybody else have any comments? No. All right. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you Thanks, so much. Cliff. Thanks again. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. And, uh, it it worked. Thank you. Thank you all for your efforts and um, uh, everyone. You know, we pulled together. We pulled it off again. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Right. Amazing. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care, all. Thank you too. Bye, Cliff. Bye-bye. See you, Cliff. On via Zoom, and you must be. I'm with her. Yeah, I'm Eva. Could you tell me how to spell your name? E V A. Last name Z M Zebra. A R E T. As in Tom. Okay, and um, Olivia is. Okay, so you are. Spot? Yeah, what's your role? Yep, I'm the um, I'm a rural community organizer for um, CBPC. Okay, and what's Eva? What's your role? I'm a public health specialist at Central Vermont Medical Center, and I also work for the coalition. Okay, so you're a public health 
specialist. And so you worked for CVMC? I worked for CVMC. And then the coalition, CVPC, is um, backed by the hospital. Yeah, so I read the, the document that um, Olivia sent. Okay, good. So, ladies, I understand you're um, looking to do a public informational meeting. And is that, would that be joint with the school, or are we talking about two separate meetings? Yeah, so what we, so we wanted to, I think there's been some like back and forth like confusion about what exactly we're trying to do. We're hosting a series of community forums throughout Central Vermont. And so we've already held one in for the Northfield area. We have one next week for Montpelier Roxbury. And then the next one will be in April for the school district that Callis is a part of. So they're organized by supervisory union. And then we'll have one for Mad River and, and so on. Yes, because my question, because I kept going back to when Olivia was trying to schedule this, why, why do you need, if it's going to be done to the school board, what is it you want from the select board? Mm -hmm. So we just want you to know about it. We don't need help setting it up. We have it under control. We want you to know that it's happening um, as the leadership of the town. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it gets out to the citizens, however, is best for cows to do that. So the, our first step is almost always we go and make sure that the select board knows who we are, knows that we're legitimate, um, and that we, you know, have the backing of the hospital behind us. Um, and it's not necessarily for the schools. It's just that's how we're organizing it for the regions. Okay. That's just the easiest way. Yeah, I guess when you're sending out information, it, you might be clearer. Okay. I'm explaining that because no matter how many times I asked, I really wasn't clear. Okay. Um, I think it's a really great project. I commend you for what you're doing. I think it's really needed and, you know, unfortunately there's a lot of people with some problems out there. So, so getting it, the message out, we can certainly, um, if you have something you want us to post on Front Porch Forum, we can certainly do that if you have a blurb. About when it is and what it is, but mm -hmm. actually, I, I I would resist that coming from the select board. I mean, it's a great initiative. Well, they can do it though. Exactly. You 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 don't need. Frankly, you don't need our permission. No. Great that you're doing it. Thanks for coming. I think they just want our support. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. got it. Got the full yeah. support. But I would suggest posting it on front porch forum, um, and the school board is aware of it, so I'm sure they'll get word out too. Um, I just think getting, you know, doing a big media thing with Front Porch Forum, posted on Facebook pages, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. How has attendance been so far? Attendance has been really good. The one that we held for the Northfield region had almost 40 people in attendance. That's good. Um, there was a good, and it, we, it was on Zoom because of obvious reasons. Is that how you're going to do this one? Um, well, the one in Vermont Pillar is going to be on Zoom, and then we haven't. Um, decided yet whether this next one will be for this district will be hybrid or or not. Mm -hmm. We're still deciding. Things are so tentative and touch and go. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's been positive response on on Zoom so far, and some interesting initiatives have come out of them so far. Um, in Northfield. Um, you know, we went to the select board, which it sounds like we didn't need to do necessarily here, but other places do appreciate it. Um, that I don't feel wrong, we do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I hear you. Um, so one of the select board members is also an herbalist, so she's partnering with us and we're helping her establish an after school or summer enrichment opportunity for students. So that's, and we're able to help her get grant funding and that kind of thing. So that's something that we're setting up. The school guidance counselor for Northfield um, we were able to get her connected with resources for teens who are vaping. So, get, you know, starting this dialogue and having these conversations has been really helpful. No, I think just, you know, building those relationships, branching out, you know, who, it's always interesting, you know, find people that, oh, I didn't know you were interested in that. Certainly. And, you know, word of mouth is such a huge piece of Vermont. Oh, yeah. You know, getting that word out. Definitely. Anybody have any other questions? I think, I think it's great. Yeah, I know. I think it's a wonderful project. Good for you guys. <clears throat> it's just such a if we can help, 
you know, if there's something you know, where you want to come back and talk, let me know. Sure, yeah, and I think we're also sort of extending the invitation to you all. So if you would like to come to this forum, we would really, you know, it depends on when I know when it is. Right, so it's April 8th um, in the evening. They're generally 6 to 7.30. Um, um, what day of the week is April 8th? I'm sorry, it's actually, it's April 5th, which is a Tuesday night. Oh, okay, April 5th, sorry. Um, so, you know, we invite everybody that's involved in a town, you know, and I think that it's important for citizens to see that leadership is standing up. And, and you might, you know, you might reach out through the health department to all the health officers in all the towns. I was wondering about, about I mean, that would be really, yeah, giving the, uh, the health department. Yeah, they're actually a really strong partner of ours and they present at the forum. Because they have a list of all the health officers in all of the towns, mm -hmm. and they could make sure to get word out to them through the health department, which might really encourage them to attend. Okay, sure. That's a good That's idea. That's just an idea. Yeah. Olivia, do you have anything else? Um, I don't think so. I'm going to send you a follow-up email, though, with... Um, the Zoom link and the link to our Facebook event um, if you all are interested. Great. So. Okay. Yeah, Great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming Thank you. Great project. No problem. I hope you have some really good results. Really needed. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully we can yeah. start yeah. some conversations. That's at the school, or is it? Is it at the school? She said they would decide how to do it. Yeah, we'll decide soon whether or not it's going to be hybrid, in person. I mean, it'll either be hybrid or virtual. I think it's important to include that, always include that option now yeah. for people, especially for yeah. transportation and childcare and that kind of thing. Right, right. Um, so if it is in person, we'll have to find a, you know, a good location. But right. U32 has expressed interest in helping us out. So yeah, good. Yeah, and there's a huge. Yeah, there's set up for rooms there for that. Yeah. 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 The cafeteria is great for that. For Definitely. A big group for All right. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Great. Thanks, Thanks. everyone. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to check in. I see there's a Mr. Strobridge on Zoom. Mr. Strobridge, are you there? Mr. Strobridge, are you there? Hello. Hello? Can you hear me? Could you please speak if you can hear me? It's muted. Are, are you, I know I can see now that you're not muted. Are you there? Would you please say hello? Oh, there you are. Okay, I just wanted to check in and see if there was something that you wanted to talk to the board about. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. You must be muted. Can no, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't show he's muted, but you sometimes you to, to type it out. Yeah, um, if you have something you want to talk to us about and we can't hear you. How's that? Oh, that's, that's better. Is that better? Yes. Can we help you with something? Uh, no, I'm from the town of Worcester. I just noted looking at your agenda and I see that uh, you're going to be talking uh, about the Alice Bruce Trail, I guess later on in this meeting. I, no, it's just we. I just put that on there. The board member that's been involved as the lead person on this isn't here tonight, so it's likely oh, okay. there's so it's likely there's nothing that we're going to do. We're just keeping our eye on it and staying updated. Okay, all right. No, that's all right. I'm on the select board here in Worcester, and I'm oh, okay. just curious to see what was going on. Well, good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's it. All right. You've got uh, enough on your, you've got enough on your plate tonight. I'll leave you alone if you're not going to be talking about that tonight. You have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Next up, um, Mark Curtis Pond. Okay. So, guys, last time you authorized the sending of a letter of interest, <clears throat> I sent it, and I in the cover, I asked Tom. Barry, who's the staff person who's very experienced. Is this something, I mean, the whole point of the letter of interest is 
Is it worth pursuing? Tom said, yes, it is worth pursuing. I also asked him, well, we're also going to send in a request letter to the agency that may be the agency that you are, if you decide to do a congressionally directed spending request, it would be to that agency. Is that redundant? Should we not do it? He said, no, it is not redundant, do it, because if we decide to do it, then you know they have to do it. It's just a question of going, jumping through the hoops. So I would like to go ahead and just submit the required forms. One of them is a budget. And all I did on the budget, I kept it really simple. I said, estimated cost of the dam, $500,000. I said that 100,000 of it would be raised through philanthropy and 400 through this request. I didn't put the town down for contributing anything. In the cover letter, I would probably say options include, uh, you know, if we have to do an assessment district, we would do it, etc. But I didn't want to pre-commit the town to anything. What the one thing that's a little weird is I have, and I we put in your folders a blank version of the form I have to fill out, and it's very simple. There it is right there on the screen. Yeah, it's, it's very simple, but I can't fill it out and show it to you because you have to fill it online and push send, and they don't let you necessarily have copies. So what I, it's, I'll just use all the language that I put in the letters. The only thing that's a little different, there's two, three things I want to alert you to. One is, if you scroll down to section two, you see, a congressionally directed spending request is not Leahy getting to invent a new program. It's just saying, if there's an existing program, he's directing somebody to spend it. So they want to know who. Well, they actually know more than we do. And what I will do is check this watershed prevention operations box. And they know that. And if they can, he said, if we can find something else for you, we will. Okay, then, at, if you scroll down from much further, uh, past all those check marks, it asks past funding history. I can do all of that. It's all very straightforward. And the name of the organization. The point, there's two, this is free, you should hear this. Mm -hmm. There's two. What about the rest of us? It's all straightforward. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't. You just say I need special. Uh, yeah. You need special, special attention. Special yeah, attention. special attention to this. Point of contact. It's, that's line two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Then it says, if you scroll down further, head of organization. Okay? So what I was going to do is put myself down as head of contact. Because in the letter of interest, and I would repeat it, I would say, I'm a select board, but I have recused myself from this. The select board has authorized me to be the point of contact. In terms of head of the organization, I was just going to put the board chair. But I await your instructions on this. So what I would hope is you would just give me authority to file this damn thing. When does it have to be filed by? On the 11th. Of March? Yeah. So I would hope you would give me authority to just file it. If I can, after, see the thing is, to be honest, I've been through these now. Some of these federal forms you fill in online, you can then print. Others of them, you can't print them. You don't know. You, what you have to do is you have to take all the, and I can't fill this out and print it. It won't let me. It won't yeah. copy. Right, yeah, it's so I don't know. Mark, my question, my, my question for you is, if you were not on the select board, right. and you were doing this, and you were, you know. Private citizen. Private citizen. Which I am in this respect. Right. Which makes me wonder, why are we talking about it here? Because I'm informing you delegated to me as a private citizen, right. as a point of contact, and I'm testifying before you right now okay. as a private citizen informing you of the form that I would like to submit. And I do think you should give me permission to do it. 
So or I mean or not. Well, so so I think that if this is all private citizen and you're just keeping us informed, informed I would like to be slightly less informed, considering that you're a member of the. Yeah, board. but I'm submitting it on behalf of the town. And when the entity is the or name of the organization is the town is Cal because the, because the money would come to the town and the money would come to the town. Right. Okay. On so I'm just here. I'm just here. You delegated to me as your agent. Right. And we listed John and I as. Yeah. Now, as if you want, there's no problem with me listing them, John and her, as the points of contact. I, I can do that. I I am just trying to see six months down the road when maybe we got some money, maybe we didn't, yeah. maybe we got some money and not enough, and now yeah. the town's kind of halfway in. And wait a minute, when were we really arm's length and asking ourselves, do we want it to be involved in this? I mean, that's that's. Well, I think it's, so. Is your question? What I was just going to ask is, I think Mark had said right from the beginning. This doesn't commit us to anything. Even if they give us the money, we can say, look, you know what? It's too much hassle, too much paperwork. They can't mind. give us the money. They would direct the Watershed Protection Program to process us. Mr. Kading, could you turn off, turn off your mic, please? He may be here for the same issue as... I think he is, but I want to get through this. Yeah. yeah they would direct us to apply to them. And direct them. No, they wouldn't direct us to apply to them. They would direct them if and when we apply to process it. So if we didn't want to apply, we wouldn't. And, and when when you say which we, would probably is it, is it, be is it still sometime the, next year? Is it still the town or is it Curtis Pond Dam Association? Oh, it's the town. Town. So where does the Curtis Pond Dam Association when, fit into this picture? Uh, they're listed as they. I would list them as an entity that is raising money, that this is a joint, that this is a project and there's an MOU, and this is a project and they're raising money. Yeah, because we did do an MOU. So this is, so to me the reason, and I'm sorry to keep harping on this, you guys, yeah. but the reason that we appointed John and Denise as our liaisons is so that we could be hearing about this from John and Denise. And that, that would make me more comfortable that we're keeping that, that, you know, that you, you know, you're not sitting at the table, you are a oh, arm's length citizen. Denise is bringing to us that the Curtis Pond Association is doing this. That then ask John and then ask Mark to present what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I mean, it's, so maybe it makes more sense then to list us as the yes, point of contact. And that. That keep, and that keeps it a clear line of authority, right? I, I, well, the line of authority and the line of deniability that the, that the town is, that when, that when I'm sitting here. I am not being influenced by my my friend Mark, and we're not just being all. Oh, you know, this okay. is a great. I, 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 make sure I think, think that's great. Point. Yeah. Does that okay. Work? Does sure. That work? Absolutely. I mean, I could. If you, know, you want to walk me through it, that's I can submit it. Yeah. It's easy. We'll work on that. That's what we did on ECCT. Yeah. As as you know the that I. Yeah. I did the work. Denise was no, neither of you was anywhere near. It was Liz helping me do the right. do awesome. things. Okay, so yeah. that's what yep. that. And I think that those kinds of disciplines that we teach ourselves and practice will make it so much easier if somebody wants to take this project apart and as harder things come along, that we've trained ourselves. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I'll prepare it. Denise will submit it. I'm going to make John and Denise the points of contact. Okay. I think mean, right. that's great. Yeah. Right. And you're and you're merely staff. Right. He's a from, from he's the, advisory. Well, from the you're yeah, I'm, the I'm the the yeah, I'm representing yeah. the committee. Mm -hmm. By the way, the committees and the committee they sent. If you get the email asking you for a time, then you and John can meet with the committee. I checked my email this afternoon and I didn't see anything, but it's probably there now. It's been, it's, it's a while back, it's way down on your page. Oh no, I must have okay. missed it. Ooh, okay. okay, all right. I'm sorry, I usually try to be better about emails and respond. At least, so, at least so nobody, somebody knows that somebody it got it. Once it goes down beyond the page, it's sort of like. Yeah. Um, so Mar I see Marge is here. Hi Marge, we're already, we already talked about the dam. Did Denise have, says she didn't get the email in March, so let's resend it, okay? 
Oh, and we do have the cell tower on the agenda, but I just heard you say we're not, that's Yeah, I mean, that was kind of John's, John's yeah, thing, and he Did asked me to keep it on as reoccurring, so I did. So should we move to continue that? Well, it's going to be on every okay. agenda, just is, in case. Is Marge want to talk? I don't know. Marge, you're muted. Can you hear us? Do you want to talk, Marge? They've authorized Denise and John to move ahead. Marge, are you there? Oh, this is what I hate about Zoom. Huh? You know what it is. Hey, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah we're Marge. We're, Marge, did you were you here for the action on this item? I'm having a little trouble understanding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Marge, we uh, we approve moving forward with the um, submittal of the congressionally congressionally directed spending request application. And Mark can fill you in on a phone call or something. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you. Have a good, have a good meeting. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for show, thanks for Zooming. Yeah, enjoy your drink. Bye-bye. <laughs> Do you know she has one? <coughs> of course, everybody, doesn't everybody? I love the curated by David Sheets. Is that somebody's idea of... That was John's idea of a joke. <laughs> but this is really nice flannel material. Did you feel it? It's really nice flannel I can tell it's flannel by the, by the selvage. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Anyway. No, Anyways, no. it was the cheapest you could find. So let's move on. Uh, Mr. Kading? Yes. Yeah, I think you're here for the same reason that a Roger or Robert... Roger Strobridge was here um, because we have on the agenda that we're going to talk about the cell tower and that is just going to be on our agenda as a reoccurring item. The select board member that was um, the lead person on this is not here tonight so we're not going to talk about anything, just so you know. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for hanging in there. Yeah. Thanks for zooming. Okay. Okay, gosh, guys, we might actually get out of here early tonight. I uh, looked at the minutes from whatever the last day was. Um, are we done with? Okay, a um, couple things. I already talked to you about having Grace come from ARPA just to get us started. Mm -hmm. um, and I will put that document that I'd really like you to all to read. I'll make sure it's in that ARPA folder. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, um, <laughs> An ARPA folder. It's in the Google Doc. I'll have to show you. Yeah, yeah, you can do that tonight. Not, you've got it. I don't know if I'll get to it tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, yeah. I'll try to read it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, and this is on Sharon and I, um, we were tasked with working on the personnel policy. I called Sharon and said, I really, can you take the lead and then you and I can meet. Well, we've been so busy. And I said I would. And you said you would. And, that's and then I did the same thing you did. And then it just got busy. So right. my suggestion, I sent an email to Cindy Kenneman Warren to see how much it would cost to have her do it. We have several new people that are gonna be coming on board as new hires. Um, she said she could do it, an update anywhere between 500 and 1,000 bucks. I think though where we and maybe we just need to redouble our our attempts to just get together and try to because it wasn't that we were going to do it Denise is that we were going to catalog what we wanted done what we wanted done yeah. Cindy Cindy us paying Cindy a thousand dollars in a vacuum is, is well no she you and I should talk I think that's should. all we need to do is have a conversation yeah and yeah. she did have some Can questions you get authority from us to do that or not to talk no no. No, to, I think... To hire somebody. I don't need anybody's permission to talk. Neither do I. <laughs> you should know that. Yeah, I am shocked. <laughs> Are you really shocked? shocked? Both, of you? Yes. Both of us? I think if Sharon and I would make a recommendation to the board to have Cindy move forward, if that's what we come to the conclusion. I think we should... Or maybe we have a conversation with Cindy. I think the sequencing should be that we make our list, you and I. And we, and we run it by these guys so they can at least react and w add to it. And then with that blessed list of issues, then we meet with Cindy. Okay, that sounds like a plan. That's The only thing I would add is do not do anything that derails you from the public works director. No, I think we can have a conversation. Right. Just a Absolutely not. Yeah. No. 
But I think because we are going to have new yeah. employees, yeah. no, 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 I we, get it. We really need to have, yeah. and right. Sharon and I were on the same page with what we wanted to see changed in the contract, which needs to be reflected in the mm -hmm. personnel policy. policy. So I'm thinking if we we can just have one meeting yeah. or one conversation. And, I'm, and my work is by design. I'm very, I'm trying very hard not to be working seven days a week. Well, I hope not. No, that's a, that's just the goal. Right it's now. just a goal. Right? It's just the goal right now. Um, <coughs> that's her stretch goal. <laughs> okay. I also need to hire somebody part time. I try not to leave a room without mentioning that. If you all, if you all know to somebody, do I want. I need to hire somebody in my practice part time. It's part of my not working so many people. Were well, you looking for administrative support? Yes. Administrative okay. Administrative help part time. Um, all right. Wait, wait, before we wrap up, can we please, going back to something that was just said by somebody, was it Marsh who said, I hate Zoom? Um, can we please have on our agenda? I already made a note. I know, but we made that maybe not. I fussed in wine during executive session. So now I'm going to fuss in wine in public. Oh, so it's on, on the record. Okay. About. Go ahead, fuss in wine, but make it quick. Um, either. <laughs> so I, stop the Zoom. Stop the Zoom. Everything in person. Zoom or not. Zoom or not. Or hi or in person only. Right. One or the other. Hybrid is so difficult for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah, on the good. record. Thank you. Yeah. It will be on the agenda. So you know the next meeting is going to be the 14th. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to start at 6. I'm thinking that we should... 6 to 7.30. At least Same 6 thing. to 7.30. Yeah. It yeah. might be... We might want to do 6 to 8. Aren't we... Meeting? But we're meeting on the 7th to, uh, to do interviews. Yes. Yes. Potentially. Yes. Right. And I will contact these folks and see if they're available. Okay. I, read, I read last meeting's minutes. Oh. Am I the only one who did? No, I wrote them. Rick and I, I wrote them. I wrote them. All right, so we ought to be able to check those off then. Yep. I make a motion that we approve the minutes from the 14th as presented in the folder. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Yay. Done. Um, Move to adjourn. Is there anything else? No. 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 Excellent. Well Fine. done. Yeah. Well, well done, done, folks. Well done. Oh. Adjourning without a motion is fine. No, no. And did you make the motion? Yes. Mark Mahali made the motion Second. to adjourn at 8.06, seconded by Rick Keene and unanimously approved by the board.